Hello and welcome to Electrical TV, I'm Paul Skelton. The Clean Energy Council has announced a new quality assurance program that will provide consumers and contractors with independent information on the safety of home battery products. Clean Energy Council Chief Executive Kane Thornton says the program confirms which home battery products have been tested against the industry's best practice guidelines. The products that appear on the list have been independently tested to confirm that they are up to the necessary electrical safety and quality standards. The industry best practice guide that underpins the Battery Assurance Program was developed by a collection of groups including the Clean Energy Council, the Australian Industry Group, the Consumer Electronics Suppliers Association, CSIRO and the Smart Energy Council. This was done in collaboration with state electrical safety regulators. The products that have been qualified for the Battery Assurance Program will be available on the Solar Accreditation website. Electric vehicles will soon have access to an ultra-rapid charging network along the major driving routes from Brisbane to Adelaide. This includes around Sydney and Melbourne and separately in Western Australia. The Australian Government, through the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA, has commissioned ChargeFox to develop 21 ultra-rapid charging stations powered by renewable energy. The $15 million network is expected to have no more than 200 kilometres between stations, which are within the current range of current electric vehicles. The ultra-rapid charge will provide a range of up to 400 kilometres in just 15 minutes, compared to a current charging time of several hours. The stations will be open to the public and all electric vehicle models currently sold in Australia. A team of young Australians are about to embark on a solar-powered journey across Australia in a tuk-tuk. Helmed by social entrepreneur Julian O'Shea, the Solar Took Expedition is a three-wheeled outreach and sustainability project that will see the team drive the length of Australia powered by the sun. The Solar Took was unveiled at RMIT University's Ingenious event on the 17th of October, where it was showcased alongside projects from 1,000 final year engineering students. A team of final year students from RMIT University's School of Engineering were responsible for converting the tuk-tuk to solar power and preparing it for the expedition. In addition to the solar panels, the tuk-tuk is fitted with a charger that plugs directly into a power outlet. The journey, which begins on the 24th of November, is expected to take three to four weeks. Throughout the trip, the team will conduct educational and outreach workshops with rural schools and community groups. After Australia, the team plans to travel across Southeast Asia and then the rest of the world. The Grand has announced that it's adding CP Electronics to its commercial portfolio. UK-based CP Electronics specialises in lighting, heating and ventilation solutions. The company offers a comprehensive range of products including PIR and microwave detectors, light level detectors, specialised sensors for freezer and industrial applications and an addressable lighting system. Well, that's it for this episode, but I will be back in a month with all of the latest news from the industry. In the meantime, be sure to check out our website for regular updates and like us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Until next time, I'm Paul Skelton.